Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Mandy Lau. Hope you're having a great weekend. Hope you had a great week. So I'm going to be going through a backpack I brought recently from my friend. So I was looking for a backpack that I can buy and, you know, take it abroad. Obviously, due to this COVID situation, I'm not going anywhere at present. But obviously, when the countries open up, I would like to travel. And, you know, I wanted to buy a backpack that was a little bit more premium. Uh, that was more like, uh, what do you call it, a better feel to it uh, than the generic, like, say, North Face ones, which are good. They do the job, but it just doesn't feel premium. And I know loads of people online have brought the Louis Vuitton uh, backpack or the, what do you call <coughs> the how do you say the duffel bag i do have actually one another bag, duffel bag i want to show you in another video by mulberry but for the purposes of this video i'm going to go through my uh, backpack that i brought from a friend which is called smyson smyson i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it's along the pronunciation of smyson backpack or that's the brand name anyway so these backpacks, if you go onto the website, it's, I think it's www.smithson, I think it's .co.uk, but I'll put it into the description below. They're high-end, uh, it's a high-end brand, so the things it sells is more premium and more expensive. So if you're looking to buy, say, a backpack from Smithson, it's going to cost you anywhere, I think the starting price is eight 900 above 1000 So they're pretty expensive. And the one that I have is actually... It's deer skin leather. So it's a luxury leather that I used in like luxury backpacks, luxury bags, luxury wallets. So it's a premium leather. What I'm gonna do is show you the backpack now. Okay, so firstly, it came in this dust bag. It's actually huge. So let me just fold this up so you guys can see it. There's no point showing you a huge just piece of material if you can't even see it uh okay this is let me just try and get the name on here at least okay so smice this can you see it i think you can see it and the dust bag is pretty high quality and it's um the blue it's like a it's not like the, the kind of navy blues, it's much lighter. I don't know how to describe this blue, but it's blue in nature, the colour. Um, yeah, so it's pretty high quality with a nice drawstring material. Not sure exactly what that is, but really nice. Then on to the backpack, the main part of the video. Here it is. So let me just try and show you here. So can you see it? So this is the, obviously the front of the backpack. To show you the logo here. Do, do, do. Yep, it's a, the logo is in like uh, gold. Then you have the zipper, gold zipper here, which is really nice. And this is the thing when I want to to buy a backpack, I think. The backpack with gold hardware, it just looks more feminine to me. Personally, that's what I feel. So I wanted to go with something with a gold hardware um, on top of, like, say, a navy, uh, navy leather, black leather. Navy, I had a bit more of a preference because I think gold hardware and navy goes... Uh, it's a good combo, essentially. That's what I feel, but that's my preference. You may vary in your preference. So, yeah, it's a uh, gold zipper there. And then if you open this front zipper up here it's had it's a beautiful red interior so it's how do you describe this it's um it's like a a very tough canvas material it's not like a really rubbish canvas material it's the high-end canvas material so you can see it's like a maroonish red maroonish red so that's really nice and guys it's so it feels it's got a good weight to it i mean this is a good quality leather uh, just to let you know that originally I was going to go to Bista Village Outlet, the Smyson one there, and I was going to go for the, the smaller backpack. Uh, but inherently the issue with the smaller one was if I'm going travelling, I would fill that up pretty easily. Um, so that one, the measurements was, I think it was 30 centimetres this way and around... 
30, I think 32, 33 this way, uh, upright. I'm not 100% sure, but with this backpack, the dimensions are uh, 30, I think 32 centimeters this way and 40 centimeters that way. So it gives enough room to store your stuff. And just to let you know that with Smyson, most of their backpacks are unisex. So if you go to the women's section and men's section, it's gonna be matching kind of backpacks because anyone can wear them. So yeah, <coughs> sorry, got a cough suddenly. Uh, so with the, the zipper, I'll put on my own kind of accessories if you will i'll put on uh, uh this leather what do you say key ring holder it was quite expensive it's by hallway it's like hallway leather and i got it for it was 55 pounds yeah and the store i got it from was called Fen fenner crafts it's really premium so i slapped that on there and i put like a paracord uh paracord a uh, string thing and with this titanium bead it just looked nice it just looked flattering on it as so i put it on okay so let me just show you the exterior of the backpack and then you got the handle and it's actually it's blue here but you've got a camo style on either side so if you have a look here it's really cool really really cool i've seen like women's Backpacks so it was all camo, but I didn't want that. I don't think that's something I really had a preference for but this this looks really nice and Even the handle is solid. It comes with uh, this tag. It's you can't really do much with it So I have to get my own tag to put on here And then on the side you don't have nothing to really put um, it's more like uh, The line this side's more for decorative purposes the line there then you've got uh, the backpack, the back itself, so you've got a nice comfortable back there and this actual, uh, what do you call it, the strap is actually really, really tough, the material is solid, but we would expect it, if you're going to pay, uh, say, above £1,000, you expect something that's made pretty solid, uh, that's including the backpack, exterior, the everything, so this is pretty solid and you've got um, this beautiful gold hardware here as well i can't remember the exact material of this but it's extremely premium it feels really good in the hands so if i open this up so you can see so obviously for the purpose of the video there's nothing in here at the moment because i, I can't use it for anything but yeah i'll sh i'll make a video at a later date when you know when the country opens up i can start going on holidays more often because the problem is if i do go on holiday somewhere uh, in Europe, I'm just worried that I might not be able to get back into the UK, so I don't want to risk it at the moment. As I used to go on holiday several times a year, and I can't do that anymore, so yeah. But when I do start going on holiday, I'll show you what I put into it. So inside, it's the same, it's really difficult to show you. Um, same kind of uh, maroonish canvas material there and then you have uh kind of three three compartments one at the front where you could put uh because i can't open this whole backpack so you could see it but there's one here at the front that you could put something in then you got two at well it, you got uh, like a divider here to put two separate things and then you've got like a zipped a zipped section here where you could put things in as well. Which colour is this? So if I open the zip section here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, this is actually really nice. It's got a suede uh, khaki colour um, inlay there of material. That's really nice. I mean, it just, it just boots premium everywhere. But you're because you're paying so much, you know. They've really thought about the design in terms of what they put in here. Like this, every inch of this is made beautifully. Um, so if you can see this, let me just go to the side. Yeah. And that's the front. Side. Side. Then the bottom. So with this, uh, my friend brought it. Uh, but the issue was she wanted the smaller size because she's not going to be using it for the purpose of traveling like say going abroad or 
you know, traveling, uh, for the purpose of traveling, essentially. So she's just generally using it if she's gonna go out and she wants to put something on bag. She wants to go for the neck size down. Uh, when she ordered this, she didn't really check the size. Um, I don't know where she actually got it from. Uh, I think she maybe got it from the outlet. I, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, she didn't check the size. So when she got it, she said it's gonna be a tad big. She's not gonna put too much in it if she's gonna go daily out. Say to the supermarket, not supermarket, or somewhere out. Uh, she She's going to put just what she needs in it. It's not going to be extra things. Um, so she... I can't remember how much she paid, but she sold it to me for £200, which I was like, wow, that's fantastic. That's a bargain for such a, you know, a premium backpack. That's a good price. And she only gave it for that price to me because, you know, we're friends. Otherwise, if it was someone else, it's going to be much higher. So this one's really nice. I'm so happy with this. Um, but I will show you my Mulberry duffel bag in the next video so you guys can see because I use that I use that for per the purposes of traveling but before I got this backpack I'll show you what I had let me just quickly put this back in the dust bag because otherwise I'll just throw it around everywhere and I don't really want to mess this up but this dust bag is huge guys it's just too big um, I think I'm not exactly sure why they made it so big because look it's just you could fit two of these backpacks into this bag so I'm a little bit confused what they were thinking because it just feels like I'm carrying it's a, I don't feel like I actually put it into this dust bag because it's just humongous uh, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed that but it's a bit odd yeah um, oh so <coughs> Before this, uh, the backpack I had brought originally is not that expensive like this. I had brought it from, and by the way guys, if, I'll show you this backpack. If, if you want me to do a separate video on this, I'm more than happy to do that. So this backpack I had brought from Italy when I was in Italy. And it's by the brand um, Picandro. Picandro, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, this one is just I use for general purposes so if I'm gonna go like say on the train or something it's a smaller than that backpack and I wouldn't use this for like international travel unless I'm taking unless I'm actually not ch checking this in I'm you know generally just to put normal stuff in because it's not gonna fit too much things um so this is it the Bacandro backpack and the habit with me is I like to accessorize everything so everything has an accessory i got this from dubai i just slapped it on there uh this backpack was really really nice it's uh, it's got grained grained leather i think that's it's grained leather and it's it's extremely robust but the only issue i would have with this backpack is um when you put it on and you put some weight into this backpack these straps here they slight they start to give way a bit so when you put it onto your back and there's things in it, it starts to slide down. It's that started to annoy me a little bit. Um, but also, other than that, it's a great backpack, as you can see here. And I also got Picandro provided uh, this bag locator, if you will, with my initials on it. It's the wrong way around, but essentially, what if I lose this backpack and I need them to help me track it? Uh, I think I have to contact them and they can track it by this, which is amazing. Uh, this backpack on their website retails, I think, above £350, so a little bit higher. And when I was in Italy, I actually got it for £220. So, yeah, I got a good deal there. Uh, and have had this for two, nearly three years now. And it's fantastic. It's wearing really well. So yeah that's my backpack video i just wanted to show you guys uh other options out there because i know generally people just go for the main bigger brands and backpacks when there's fantastic alternative which use uh premium leather and you know the price is going to be a little bit less like for example the louis vuitton i was looking at that the backpack which is um i was looking at more the men's side ones the women ones too small uh but the men's one it was about 1300 and I was like, what the hell? No way, seriously. If you can find a premium backpack at a discount, I would just go for it. Don't 
waste excessive money and with me some people like to have one brand of everything like one brand will say Louis Vuitton wallet loop backpack uh, handbag with me it's not like that I'd rather have a variation of different brands for everything than one selective brand uh, I just get a little bit bored that way but again everyone's different so yeah hope you enjoyed that this video uh, do give it a like and please do subscribe guys uh, help me out a great deal I'm going to be putting out the Mulberry duffel bag video in the next few days hopefully so do keep an eye out for it and have a lovely weekend guys and I will see you guys soon see ya